Hey everybody, it's Kat, and today I wanted to make a video because surprisingly, I've been getting a lot of requests. People want to know about my life, why I became a truck driver, how I became a truck driver, um, which I'm not really <laughs> good at talking about myself. Um, I do live up here in the woods. There will be occasional cars that come by here, so you might hear some noise, but other than that, it's pretty peaceful. Um... One of my favorite YouTubers who happens to be another truck driving chick, she's a flatbed oversized um, chick. I believe it's uh, the flatbed chick. chick. Um, so you can look her up. And uh, she's really inspirational because, like, that stuff is hard. <laughs> I know people that done it. I, I never done it myself, but flatbed with the chains and the tarp and oversize I don't once I pay off my truck um, because it was just in the shop which is why I haven't been able to make any videos um, once I pay off my truck I'd like to try to do oversize but I don't know we'll see <laughs> um, so yeah my truck was in the shop um, it had something was wrong with the gearbox in it and I had to get that fixed and um, now I have the weekend off so I'm excited. I'm going to show you my area, the woods here. It's very beautiful. Sorry if my hands are shaky. It's a little chilly, but I'm used to this kind of weather, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, so anyways, I guess to start off with, uh, I never would have thought that I would become a truck driver. I didn't. I'm not the type of person who likes pity. I don't like pity at all. I, um, I'm a little shy about talking about things and I, I know some people might disagree, but I try to be modest about my life, I guess. I don't know. I did have a bad childhood like a lot of people have. I'm not going to get into that. I don't think that's necessary. Unless if people request it, then maybe, but I don't know. But anyways, so I've always had bad anxiety, and it was pretty crippling. Um, a couple years ago, maybe about five years ago, I was diagnosed with PTSD because of a lot of things that had happened to me where I used to live. That's why I came up here and lived in the woods, and um, that's how I ended up getting into getting my CDL. Before that, I went to school. I got um, uh, Associates in Criminal Justice management and I got my bachelor's in criminal justice management which I'm proud of but I don't know if I'm ever going to use it if I do that's cool if I don't then I don't whatever um but anyways <laughs> there's a car coming um anyways so um I did all that and I accomplished those things and I didn't see myself being able to make money with it I guess there's a lot of poor in guys. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. This video is more of a ramble, so if you're not interested in a ramble and more of the truck driving thing, then probably not for you. Just don't watch it. Um, usually it's very quiet up here. Like I said, it's all woods. But anyways, I think those were side-by-sides. Um, but anyways, so I didn't know what to do. I was working as a cake decorator. Um, I'm not really necessarily a, um, you know, tough chick right off the bat. I have done a lot of womanly jobs, I guess you could quote unquote say, sorry if I offend somebody, whatever. Um, I was a cake decorator and a baker for quite a few years at a store. I just didn't see myself using my degree and... But I would look online and I would always look for something better. I thought there's got to be something better that I can do that I can make more money because I was poor. I was living in a studio apartment um, and I had a car payment. I didn't really know a lot of mechanics that could fix my car so I had to get a brand new car. And luckily I could. Um, and so I was just, I remember looking in, on Indeed one time and I seen all these jobs for driving. and They made so much money and I'm like, well, I wonder how you do that what's a cdl like how do you how do you drive those big trucks what do you need to drive them and then i was like with my anxiety oh i don't know that probably wouldn't happen but um i 
ended up meeting someone who I dated. Not gonna lie, it was a boyfriend. And he was a truck driver. And um, he had only been truck driving for two years. He worked for a small company. I still respect that ex-boyfriend and I respect my boss of the small company greatly because they changed my life. Um, so uh, dating this guy, I he asked me, you know, do you want to come over the road with me? And I was like, well, I'm, I'm very independent. I like to pay my bills. So if I go over the road with you, um, sorry, I was just shaking my foot. That's why the camera's shaking so much. If I'm going to go over the road with you, I I need to get my CDL because I'm not just going to sit back and you're going to be the one driving, you know, that isn't right to me. So the plan was, is originally he was going to teach me how to um, drive and I was going to get my CDL through the company, which... I have no freaking experience with manual trans. I had none. This was a couple years ago. I've been dri I've been driving for about three years. I am a newbie, but I know lots of truck drivers and um, have a lot of family that truck drives too. Just never thought I'd do it. Um, but anyway, so he was gonna teach me. It didn't work out that way. I ended up having to go to a school. It wasn't the best school, but it got me through. And I. I got to start driving. I The first truck that I ever drove was a Volvo. I believe, actually, it's the one I made a video um, on when I was talking about shifting. It's a 13-speed Volvo. And that's the first truck I ever really drove was a 13-speed Volvo. It's funny because some people don't understand the concept of 13 and 18 speeds, but yet that's what I started off with, and that's what I'm most comfortable with. Um, so I got my CDL and I was driving and I, my anxiety is so bad. Like, I don't know how I got through doing what I did. I, I, I was like, is this for me? Because it was so scary sometimes. I mean, we'd go to California a lot and went through a lot of mountains, um, Colorado, Utah, you know, Arizona, I was the one that typically ended up, because we team drove, typically drove through Utah, the mountains of Utah. God, I just remember the whole time crying, and, I, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. I was crying the whole time driving through the mountains of Utah, and he drove through Colorado the night before, and it was raining and pouring, and it was dark, and it was like being on a roller coaster. Both times, it was all the time it was the first couple of times before I got used to it it was like driving on a roller coaster that you're in charge of at a fast speed you know and you're worried about hurting other people or hurting yourself and it's a big machine <laughs> so it was really scary for me but what came out of that and how it changed me is it really helped me become desensitized to things like that and once again, I'm sorry, the camera's shaking. Maybe I can make it so that it's more comfortable. I don't know. Eh, whatever. Here, like this. So, I, uh, <laughs> I became desensitized to a lot of the things that were scaring me, like the driving through the mountains. I mean, the ones in Colorado and Utah are pretty big. There's some steep downgrades. For anybody who doesn't know, that's... Um, the slope of how far of a, you're going down the mountain. It's like the slope, I guess you can call it. Um, but it, it, it showed me what I'm capable of. I was terrified. I, every day I questioned, can I do this? Being in stop and go traffic. I knew, I I didn't know what a clutch was when I began. I didn't know how to shift gears. I didn't know what RPMs were. That's why I started making these videos because I wanted to help people that maybe had no idea but they wanted to try to better their life because this is a really good way to better your life. Um, and it just, it, it made me so much more brave and gave me so many more opportunities. Like after I worked with him and worked with that company for a while. I became okay. I struggled with backing. Um, I'm actually a better blindside backer than I am 
you know, just backing regularly. <laughs> I don't know why. It, weird quirks. I have weird little quirks. But anyways, um, see some of the prettiness here. Um, but anyway, so after a while of that and things were just not working very well with that boyfriend, um, it wasn't us fighting over the road or anything. It was just personality differences and I had a lot of bad things going on in my family. Um, my two little nephews who were very young were abandoned and I hate to say that, but it's the truth. Um, and I had to try to be there for them. So... Um, I had to figure out, okay, what am I going to do now? I got to go local because <laughs> I got to be home. So I went local for a while. I had companies begging me to work for them. If you live in the right place and you have the experience and you, um, <laughs> you think you can do it, believe me, they want you, especially OTR. OTR gets a little bit old with big companies. I'm an owner operator now. And I hope to keep it that way. <laughs> um, it has its difficulties, but it's it's nice. Anyway, so I had to go local. And I went local with a popular delivery company. I'll just say that. Uh, the lady that reached out to me, she's great. Uh, she did. We did have a dispute towards the end of when I wanted to quit. Um, one thing I found with trucking companies, they don't like when you want to quit. Um... They tell you they won't give you time off. They tell you, you know, this isn't important and stuff like that. But then when you try to quit, they beg you to stay. And uh, there's they should realize in the beginning that there's a lot of other companies that want you. But um, it was great. And it gave me an opportunity to learn some new things like doubles. Pulling doubles, if you know what that is. Getting your doubles endorsement. And uh, just different things like that. I met uh, a lot of cool guys that taught me some new tricks and things like that. Sorry, it's shaking now. I'm a little chilly, but I'm still used to it. I still like being outside in this nice crisp air, but I'm still looking for the warmth. Like I said, this is a ramble, so to heck with it. I'm just doing it. Um, so I went local and I met someone and ended up deciding to move up here where it's really nice and peaceful because even though I have PTSD, have been diagnosed and got the brain scan for it, you know, um, I was, I don't want to talk about anything with my PTSD and I don't, you know, there's different spectrums, so please don't judge me. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, truck driving always helped me to get away from what uh, triggered it, I guess. I still have anxiety, though. <laughs> and I still do have PTSD. Um, I don't like to talk. I don't like to admit that at all. I, I believe that you can overcome every anything, especially if I can truck drive. You can overcome anything, I think. Um, so... Uh, I decided to come up here in the woods because I'm a very woodsy person. Um, I love taking nature photos. I love being up here by nature. I love sitting outside looking at the stars, everything like that. And it's led me to this. So, I guess to break it down, what truck driving really did for me, that's a good thing, is it helped me meet people that are really important to me. It helped me to make more money when I thought I was never going to make enough to get out of a studio apartment. Um, it's helped me to boost confidence, to get rid of anxiety. Um, jobs beg me to work for them. Becoming an owner-operator, I literally have been telling the same company over and over I am an owner-operator now, and if something goes wrong with this, that's not going to be good for me. I wish you the best, but, you know, I really want to keep being an owner-operator. But they still call me periodically, I would say at least once every week or every two weeks. How's it going being an owner-operator? <laughs> well, it's going, and I hope it stays that way, you know.
trucking, there's always something breaks down, always something happens, but you just hope it's nothing too bad and, you know, whatever. So jobs are in abundance. Um, downsides to truck driving. People can be very negative, especially to newer drivers. Um, a lot of the older drivers, and I mean no offense, but it's true. Uh, some of the pages on Facebook, I, I don't know about Instagram, um, but some of the pages on Facebook, you make a comment or you stick up for somebody or you or a new person asks, a newbie asks a question and they just get ripped on. Oh, back in my day, I had to do this and had to do that. That's fine. That's great. I give you a lot of credit. If you've been driving for a long time, you deserve a lot of credit. America and, um, you know, our, our country, this country and wherever would not have anything that it has if it weren't for trucks that deliver it. But at the same time, you're going to retire at some point. And if you're rude to someone who's asking a question, that's kind of, that sucks. So that's a downside to it is there, there can be a lot of other rude truck drivers. You will come across really nice truck drivers, though. I'm not trying to bash on anybody. I really just want to be positive. That's just something I've encountered. Um, another downside to it is you can get tricked by a lot of companies. You can, in owner operating, you have to be very careful, especially if you don't just buy the truck flat out yourself, which could affect your credit, I believe. I don't know. The way I did it, um, I knew a lot of people that did it through this company, and it's a smaller company, so um, it's it seems as though it's going well. And so you have to be careful because you can get tricked. And there are some good videos out there of experienced drivers who will talk about owner operating. So you should probably watch those too. <laughs> I don't know too much yet, but when I learn more, I will definitely do so. Um, what else? What else has it done for me? I can travel and I get paid to travel. And as an owner operator, once I make enough money and I'm paying on, I ha, if I, I make enough to pay on my truck and to pay my bills, I can take off or I can, you know, a lot of times the dispatchers, they will, if I ask to go somewhere and they can find me a load there, I can go there. If I want to go to Florida, which I will be because my sister lives down there, um, I can go to Florida and it's great. So, especially in the colder weather like this, this was a bad winter. That's one of the things is you get to travel and see the country and um, you're getting paid for it, basically. So, um, that's a plus. Um, people do say nice things about you, you know. There are stigmas about truck drivers, but I do appreciate all the nice things people say to me. Like, wow, that's really cool that you did that. And, you know, and, and I also learned a lot about um, the mechanics of trucks, which also helped me with my own car, because you have to learn the mechanics of it. So that has helped. And I've made quite a few friends. So I'm very happy about that. Now, um, I didn't, I'm not good at talking about myself. I, I ramble so much. So I hope you enjoyed this beautiful view out here in the woods. It's very pretty. I think I'm going to sit out here for a bit. Maybe go in and have... I'm either going to be healthy and have some tea or bad and drink some beer. But um, I will be making some actual trucking videos. If you have any requests, as usual, let me know. And I'll try to make them. And if this video was too long, I apologize. Um, and... Uh, I'm very happy to have as many subscribers as I do. Thank you all. And uh, I'll be making videos soon.